Okay, good evening everyone. So I decided to make a little video because I was so tired of um, just the inability of anyone on the internet to explain cat centrality. So I decided that I would put something together myself because it's just ridiculous. So here is the proverbial lecture slide on the topic of cat centrality. And right down there in the bottom left, we see what is supposed to amount to a decent explanation of the algorithm. And when we do power iteration, you may be familiar um, from the eigenvalue side of things that it's rel it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of iterating the output X matrix by multiplying it by some combination of the adjacency matrix and other values. So I'll show you again. This is from a different PowerPoint, which I had ready, but this here, in the bottom right, is essentially the entire algorithm. So, this is it. This is it. And I've spent the last two hours looking for something that will tell me how to make this work, and I couldn't find anything. So I'm just going to do an example using this as our basis, and, you know, I'm just going to talk through the matrices, because I think it's good to actually talk through this, because, you know, what's what's E and what's A? Alright, so let's do it. Alright, so, look at this matrix. That's our matrix. That's that's your guy. Um, so it's 0, 1, 1, 1. Excuse the mess. But, you know, that's the nature of doing demonstrations on one note. 0, 1, 1, one, 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 zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero. Right, so that's our adjacency matrix. Now we can see here that we need to multiply that by alpha. So an example here, alpha is 0 0.25. Sorry. Look, look at John Mullaney if you want a funny... Uh, John Mulaney birthday cake, if you want a good joke about what I just did. Alright, then we multiply that by X, which X naught is E, which is the I matrix, which is literally just ones. See, this is my problem with math, is that people just make notation so difficult to understand that no one can actually work out what's going on. Alright, so that's that. And then plus beta times E, which in this example is 0 0.2. So it's literally just 0 0.2 times 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. That's it. That's the whole thing. All right. Now, for those of us familiar with matrix multiplication, because that's what we're looking at here, um, you're going to have 0 times 1, 1 times 1, 1 times 1, 1 times 1, 0 times 1. And the same for every row. So 1 times 1, 0 times 1, 1 times 1. It's just run and dive. 1 times 1, and 1 times 1. And then we add to each of those 0 0.2. So, um, and then we also multiply by 0 0.25. So it's going to be 3 times 0 0.25, which is 0 0.75. So it's 0 0.75 plus 0 0.2 times 1, plus 0 0.2. And we do that for all rows. So, this one has four ones in it, times four ones, so it's going to be one plus zero point two, etc. So, yeah, it goes through. Um, I'll do the rest of the iteration. This is the first iteration of of the power um, the power iteration for cat centrality. So, this one has four zero point two, so it's one plus zero point two. I'll just make my notation a tiny bit neater. Um, 3, so 0 0.75 plus 2, 0 0.2, 0 0.75 plus 0 0.2, and 0 0.5, because there's two of them, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2. And for those of us who can do basic math, that all comes out to something. Pretty easy, 0 0.95, 1.2, 1.2, 1 0 0.95, etc. Right, so let's assume that I did those sums, and let's look at the next iteration. So, 
it is going to be literally this exact same thing again. And we love a bit of copy-paste around here. Um, and all that's going to be multiplied by... Zero point nine five, which is literally just this, right? Zero point nine five, one point two, one point two, uh, zero point nine five, and zero point seven. Okie dokie. Plus the same thing here. Literally the exact same thing again. When you see the code for this, you'll be like, wow, that's really simple. It's, um, like the computation is super straightforward. It's just a matter of actually seeing someone do it, I think. Um, and you do the same thing, right? So multiply those numbers by these numbers, those numbers by these numbers, um, and so on. And it's that straightforward, and I just so happen to have done it up in code, because why not? And let me see here. So, my first solution, so I've only done two iterations, so this is the answer there, and then x1 again becomes the answer there, so this is the solution after the second iteration which is the answer if you multiply those numbers by those numbers and add that. And then if you want to iterate it, if you want to do cat centrality power iteration, it's literally that, F5. Right, look at the solution. 1 1.42, 1.31, 1.31, 1.142, 0 0.857. And I'll just move that over there very quickly. And where, oh where, did I put that example. Here. And there are your solutions. And they're the same. And that's it. Cat centrality. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day.